Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 54 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time we beat the cool samurai metal thing Boomer with not too much trouble, and he kind of fell to his death, which was a little bit sad, but nothing major. I'm sure he'll be fine. And now we're going to face off against Smithy, or so we hope. Let's see. We must hurry to the appointed place. And this is kind of funny, I love this. And away we go. We do a little dance. <laughs> uh, just showing that even at like the very end of the game, when you're about to face off against the ultimate bringer of doom, there's still a bit of comic relief. This is this is ultimately ridiculous. I'll be the first to admit that, but it's still kind of awesome. We're just dancing, dude. This is ridiculous, but I love it. And next stop, top floor. Please fasten your seatbelt and... Wait a sec, there are no seatbelts! Oh, whoa! And that's what happens when you don't have seatbelts. 19, okay, that's for a boomer. And... Right into the battle with... Smith. The eye is protecting X... Xor? What? This, are you selling... This isn't Smithy? Well, if this giant-ass sword is not Smithy, then... Who the hell is? Okay, Neo, that's a mouth. What are you talking about? Right eye, left eye. So we've got a total of four different targets in this battle against Xor. Anyone see that coming? I know, I certainly didn't. Alright, so there are ways that you can take on this guy. Uh, number, well, basically his eyes are protecting him here. The left eye is the one, main one you want to worry about because that's powerful magic. The right eye is not too bad, it can transform you. Uh, the Neo Squid, I'm not too sure. Exor himself, you can't really do much to him until you get rid of the eyes. So that's what we'll do. I think I'm inclined to say that the eyes each have uh, 800 HP. To get the left eye first. But I'm not too sure on that. I know Exor himself has 1800 HP. Which is surprisingly not as much as Boomer. Wow, that was a fail of a super jump. Alright then. So slowly take... Oh, his protection is gone. Okay, that was definitely not 800 HP. Aurora Flash, uh oh. Very serene attack, but very powerful too. Dark Star, oh, I, th I thought the other one was the one with Dark Star, damn it. That's a powerful ass attack. See, 44 damage to Peach. To Peach! It's, for, it's great. Mario, did Mario fall asleep? He did. That asshole. Um, let's see. I think I, I think you might actually be able to mute the eye. Let's see. Let's find out. Rotate the control pad, okay. Oh, let's see. Did it work? I can't tell. I doubt it, but maybe. So just take down the right eye now. Man, the monster is mute. Yes, it did work. Wow. That's pretty awesome. So there you go. Mute works wonders on this thing. And I think this eye is just about dead now. The monster is mute. The monster is mute. Yes, they just feel the need to emphasize it twice. All right, Exor's protection is gone. Wait, put the other eyes back now. Damn it. Okay. Well, we'll have to, I think you have to take out both eyes for his protection to be fully gone. What the hell is that? The monster is mute. Yep. All right, Peach. We still haven't done any damage to Exor himself, which is kind of ridiculous. Alright, let's go ahead and super flame him. I'm gonna flame you! Hit Y repeatedly! Go, 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 go! And his protection is gone! Awesome! So now that his protection is fully gone, you have a few options here. Number one... BAM! That's freaking right. Oh no. And there's the battle with Exor. Okay, let's move on. Okay, no. We're not actually going to take the cheap way. I'm going to show the actual fight against him. Don't you worry. So I think we'll start head start off with a Geno boost to Mario here first. Yeah. 
It is kind of interesting, though, that, like, Geno World only works on one boss, and that boss happens to be, like, this ultimate bringer of death and doom, Axor. It's kind of weird. Alright, so, like I said, the fire, the eyes are weak to fire and jump. Axor himself is not weak to really anything, though. So I'm just going to use my normal attacks on him. Man. Why do I have to hit him so high up there? Why can't we just hit him elsewhere on the hilt? Come on. Yeah, that Neo Squid is kind of bothering me. You know what? Let's use the Star Egg. Why not? <laughs> I wonder if the Lamb's Lure will work on him too. It's like, yeah, the Geno World works on him. I wonder if the Lamb's Lure does. That'd look ridiculous though. Turning this giant sword into a tiny little lamb that floats away. Oh man. Look at the sky in the background. This is ridiculous. It's like it's so stormy and crazy up here. What have you been doing, Exor? Have you been farting too much? Uh-oh, his eye's back, or one of them is. Jeez, that's actually like the second one that I took out. I'm surprised the other one didn't come back for it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> of course. Let's go ahead and mute that thing again. Mute the right eye. And this has got to be much easier on the GameCube control. Because you don't actually have to rotate the control pad. You rotate the control stick. The eye is protecting the Exor. I know that. Don't have to tell me again. Don't have to tell me twice. So this is actually pretty a, a kind of cool battle. Like you're just at the very top of the keep, and then oh wow, over a thousand damage to that eye. That's ridiculous. Okay, can I attack Xor one just one of his eyes down? Oh, I can, but I don't think it did as much damage. Carnicus. Ow! Whoa! 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 You don't do that to Gino. Bring him back. Bring Gino back. And come on, Gino. You can do it. Get up. Thank you. 179. 179. I'm feeling fine. Let's try super jump on Xor himself. See how much we can do. Oh, I can't even see Mario. That's bad. Wow, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Can't even see Mario. I'm surprised I actually did that many super jumps without being able to see him. Guess I should have figured, though. Because the hitbox is way up there. The monster is mute. Most certainly it is. Alright, we'll just concentrate on Xor for now. Don't worry about the Neo Squid. Or the mouth. Why is he even called a Neo Squid? I never got that. Oh, I think we beat him for real this time. Without the use of hacks. Uh oh. Oh, he's sucking me in! He's sucking me in! No, don't do that! No! Oh, why'd you have to do that, Xor? When you with your dying breath. 34 XP, not bad. And... Oh my, no! What is this place? Do you know where this leads to? It looks like Xor's the contact between the two worlds. In other words... If we follow this road, we'll find Smithy. So what's keeping us? Hang on! Hey, I only joined so that I could get my castle back. I'm not going to be dragged along in this stupid hunt. Really, Bowser? You've come this far. I mean, seriously. Why not? You're an official member of the Koopa Troop. It's your duty to help with the repairs. Dude. Bowser, you're completely missing the point. I ought to rip your stuffing out. He's a wooden doll, he doesn't have stuffing. The sword connects the two worlds, right? Yeah, so? Even if we defeat Exor, there will be other weapons be beasts to follow him. Your castle is the very entrance point to your world. In short, that'll be back. Uh-oh. Is that what you want? Um, well. Um, well. Staring at me this time. More weapon things come over my castle? What about my... Privacy! Yikes. This isn't good at all. In fact, this stinks. But I can't just be pals with these cretins. I gotta keep it. I've got an image to keep up. Um, well. I've got it. No one insults the Cooper Troop and gets away with it. I've got a bone to pick with this smithy guy. Oh, of course. He managed to come up with an excuse after all. I'm so sly. <laughs> it looks like we're, work we're together on this one. Let's go. And. Welcome to the final, final area of the game. Just pulled this one out of nowhere, didn't they? 
And I think if you hop on the screen, you can actually go navigate the world maps more. Yep, there you go. Gate. It's just what it is. Gate. Short little word. Definitely significant, though. So, I'm not sure if there's anything else I really want to do. Um, let's head to Mario's pad. We'll take a quick little snooze. You know, it's like Samus resting up before Mother Brain. Mario's resting up before Smithy now. And I'm telling you, this last area is nothing to be taken lightly. There are tons of bosses, and even the normal enemies around there are really tough. So, don't take it lightly at all. It's also one. Of, it's also probably my favorite area in the entire game. All right. Just for old time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and head to Mushroom Way. I'm gonna fight a spiky, and I'm gonna try for a hundred super jumps just one time. Just one time. Let's see. No, nope, not even close. Well, that was pointless and stupid. <laughs> really bad way to end off this video. Okay, let me run. Thank you. Alright. So, I think that next time we are just going to keep on progressing into the gate. Whatever lurks behind there, I don't know. So, thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.